What's going on everyone, it's Joe DeLoneWare. It's October 9th and today is my last fertilizer application of 2022. Let's get started. So like I was saying, last fertilizer application of the year. This year has seen its ups and its downs. Things are looking good right now. Things are looking good heading into the winter time. So I'm super happy with that. Right here, this was left over from uh, earlier when I did my first fall overseed. This is the 1825. Really like this stuff. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit slower than I was expecting in the fall time. Uh, in the springtime, it seemed to do better. Uh, it just seemed to green up and grow, I don't know if this is the correct word or not, grow more vigorously. Um, but overall, I would say I was happy with this fertilizer. I'm um, going to use this up. Next year, I'm going to be totally totally honest with you guys that I am not sure what I want to do next year. Um, I probably will be on Thirsty Thursday at some point from this point to sometime, uh, you know, sometime before the end of the year. So I'd like to talk to those guys about what they think I could do for next year. Probably going to get a soil test sometime, maybe in November, just to see where I, uh, you know, peaked out for the end of the year. So with that, we're going to throw this down, show you the yard, and uh, just talk about what's going on. So this over here, I call this my side piece. Uh, this filled in really nice. We got a shit ton of rain after Hurricane uh, Ian came through. We saw almost four straight days of rain. Uh, in the beginning, it was super strong. A uh, lot of rain, heavy downpours. Um, and then it was, you know, mostly just a, a good, clean number of showers. And um, it filled in great. I mean, as you can see, uh, the before here, I mean, it looked... We started off, it was really bad in, in the in the fall, in, the, in early September. It's filled in nice. Um, there's a couple areas that I'm a little concerned with. Um, I'm pulling on some of the grass and it's, it, I don't know if it's the, the roots are still developing or, or what, or if there's an, a, another problem. So we'll see come springtime, you know what happens. Um, overall, the color is there. Everything has filled in. It looks great going into the winter time. So the front of the house now, everything is looking really great. Everything filled in again after all that rain. Interesting spot right here. This is pretty cool actually, uh, coming down right here. I cut out a piece right here of sod from another part of my lawn. I'll show you in a second. I put it here and it just, it just, you know, with all that rain, all that water, just it, it took, it, it looks really great. Um, so I was really happy. I was really surprised how this survived. So that part that I actually cut out is over here, actually by my truck. Um, I'll show you right here. It's going to be hard to see because it's a little bit of a shadow. But uh, actually, I can't even actually tell actually now where I cut it out at. That's which is awesome. Um, I believe it actually was in like this section actually right here. I know it's. It's not going to really show up on the camera because of the shadow right here, but I mean, you can't even tell I cut out a good, you know, probably almost two foot section by 12 inch wide. And you actually can't even tell now that, um, what I cut out and I put it out in that section over there. It was just looking really bad and I was getting tired of looking at it. So I figured, you know what, let me cut out a little section, put it over here. Did that earlier in the year, um, for a flower bed that I put in over on the side piece over there. So yeah i mean that that grew in real good right there and again the lawn's filling in and in the springtime i know just like last year it was the same way going in the winter time there was a couple iffy spots but in that springtime when things warmed up got down the spring fertilizer application things just took over just grew in real nicely so super happy with this and then coming over onto the side of the house things are looking again super great uh the sidewalk area over here it's looking really great. We finally got our quartz over here paved, so that black asphalt just looks really great, uh, or whatever, I don't know if it's asphalt or what, whatever they do today, but it looks so great against the dark green gr uh, grass. And then over here as well, I know there's gonna be shadows, and it's really hard this time of the year to film stuff. I know it's, a, it's still a little bit early in the morning, um, but overall, I mean, I'm happy with it. Obviously the grass, it's, it's green, it filled in like how I wanted it to. And then um, super happy with this section right here. You can see my shadow here. 
So this was, we, it was, if you guys have been following me, I put a sprinkler down at the end of that fence down there. This was all dug out with a trench and this is all filled in really nicely as well. So this is probably a view of my yard you probably have never seen because I usually don't go up here, but this is at the corner of my house and our fence to our backyard. And this is the view from here and you can see everything is looking really great down here as well everything is filling in really great let me bring it out back and show you what's going on back there so as we come into the backyard now grass is looking okay i don't do any herbicide applications back here nothing like that it just gets fertilizer and grass um i don't really care a ton what goes on back here the kids in the summertime are out here constantly running around messing around we obviously have our gardens over there but over here is a mess we're finally getting our pool worked on um just with all this rain they haven't really done a ton they ripped up the concrete as you could see around the pool they've ripped it all up eventually that white boarding that's around the pool that border that's uh, actually wood yeah that's all just wood wrapped in some kind of vinyl this is a super old pool so that will be gone it will be cement edges now we're super happy about it all this section over here uh this is all mulch and usually what we do is we put down like a fake artificial carpet because we just hate the kids walking on that mulch right here it was actually grass when we first moved in and i said i am not cutting this grass right here next to this pool uh it's just an accident waiting to happy happen and then, then you're gonna have to bag it every time so this is all going to be cement now from the pool all the way up to our house now so it's going to be a beautiful thing we can't wait for that to happen so hopefully this gets done by hopefully before halloween we're hoping um they still got some plumbing to do a new liner will be going in obviously they gotta drain the pool because it looks we haven't had the filter running for a while but we are super happy with this project we are we can't wait for this to be done so things are looking good as you can see i am happy with everything and I'm happy to report that I've only used uh, three products so far this year. I've used, uh, obviously I've used the 18.25. I used the macro and the micro fuel, which were liquid fertilizer applications. I'm testing out a little molasses in a couple areas right now, uh, straight from Harbor Freight, kind you can just get. It's super thick stuff, guys. Um, and then that's about it. I did do a, an iron application around um, July 4th. I had my parents coming up to visit us, so I wanted to try uh, Ryan Noor's new uh, uh, iron that he has out there. I can't remember the name of it right now off the top of my head. I, get, I believe it's like the green, the green ore SP, I think it is. Um, that came out great as well, but that's it. We had some fungicide that we put down of uh, various parts, uh, azoxy and prop uh, propiconazole. Um, probably didn't get down soon enough, but you know what? You live and you learn that's what i say but i'm happy to report that that's all i've used this year i didn't use you know a granular and a liquid from other companies and this and that and you know you really don't get in a good idea of your results and that's why i said about the 1825 i felt like it did better in the springtime and then and then the fall time it seemed to be a little bit slower in the fall time um that's just from my observation but um again today we're going to be putting down a full pound of N. That was my plan. That was the plan going into the season was a full pound of N on the time of seeding and a full pound of N right now around this time of the year, uh, October, about 30 to 40 days out from the first application in the fall. And that's it. That's all we're doing. Things are looking good. Things are green. I couldn't be happier. So in about two weeks from now, I will be going to GIE. I will be meeting up with the Thirsty Thursday guys. They do, they have a uh, get together for all their Patreons. So I'm super excited to meet those guys. Uh, I've gotten to know them a lot during this year. Super helpful, very professional guys. I've talked about it before. If you want to listen to anybody to listen to professionals when it comes down to lawn care, they know what they're talking about. They're in the industry. I'm not in the industry. I just love really doing this as my hobby, getting on the camera, talking a little. I love editing those videos for you guys. At the end of the day, what it comes down to when I do this kind of stuff, if I can get one person to laugh from my TikToks, Instagram videos, YouTube videos, then that's all that really matters to me. I just love, 
you know, bringing some a little bit of laughter, or a little bit of joy to somebody from something stupid that I've done on those on those content that I put out there on TikTok or Instagram. That's all that really matters to me when it comes down to it. Because in this day and age, everyone needs a little bit of laughter, a little bit of joy in their life. That's all that matters. So if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And if you have any questions on today's video, leave it down in the comment section below. Let me know how your season has been going. Uh, I, You guys know I put that video out a couple weeks ago about the peat moss. I'll never use it again. And um, yeah, you can see things came back. I'm super happy with it. So let me know how you're making out in your area. Obviously, I'm in Jersey. Let me know where you're from and how you're making out. If you're interested in any of my other content like I talked about earlier, I'm available on Instagram. I'm available on TikTok. Go check me out there. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. And make sure you stick around, guys, because I'm gonna have a, definitely going to have more videos out between now and the end of the year. It might not be all related to lawn care content. I got a video coming out that just came out about commercial Christmas lighting. Go check out that video. I'm super happy about that video. I got something else really cool about permanent LED lighting. It's going to be a really cool video. So guys, stick around. I'm going to have more videos coming throughout the end of the year.